Well, hello folks, welcome back. It's another glorious summer's day today. So I'll be cracking on, not outside, in the shed. I've got some things I've been shopping. So I'll show you them. First of all, oh, I'm gonna get the kettle on. See you in a bit. Hi folks, it's a lovely summery day again. Typical, isn't it? It's like this all the time, as you know. Well, anyway, first job, get the kettle on. And then I'm going to do some cooking. I brought me stove over because I've got, well, I'll show you when the kettle's boiled. Have a little view out of the dirty window. See you in a bit. Well, folks, what an absolutely miserable day it is. So I'm just going to be spending most of the day in the shed doing some tidying as well. I'm going to do some cooking, like I said before. Now I bought myself a new camping air frying pan. Sorry about that folks, I just don't want to smash me egg. Because I'm going to have bacon and egg. It reminds me, years ago I used to always have bacon at the allotment while I was listening to the Gardening Mania program on Radio Newcastle. So it'll bring back memories. Got some cheese buns. Put them there. Ah, I bought myself a new camping uh, fire, fire pan. <laughs> I bought myself a new camping frying pan. Because I've noticed the ones that you get with the camping sets are tiny. You can't even get like one piece of bacon in without folding it over. So I bought this one. Whoops. And I'm going to test it out today. Seems big enough to me. So like I say, I've got some bacon here. I'm going to have bacon and egg. The only thing's missing is the radio. Like I say, I used to listen to Radio Newcastle on a Sunday afternoon, round about this time. Uh, it was the Garden Mania program. A lot of me old subscribers will remember that. That, that's going back a few years, folks, isn't it? Do you know what it is as well? I, mean, I think I might get the fire on as well today. Because like I said, I'm going to start taking everything off the walls and getting prepared for the, the big shed makeover that's happening soon. <laughs> I don't know when it's happening, but it's happening soon. Right, hurry up, kettle. I'm choking. So I'll see you in a bit. Right, let's test this uh, frying pan out. Can't wait for these bacon sawneys. It's been a long time since I've had bacon sawneys on the plot, folks. What a treat. Where's me like that? So I'll just get this uh, stove on. Don't want the heat too high, because it'll scorch the pan. This, it's a steel pan, uh, thingy coated, non-stick coating, so it should be fine. Got my cup of here as well. Ah, great. So that, that heat up a little bit there. I've got some spray oil. Starting to heat up already. <clears throat> so I better get this bacon open. Sorry if it's not a very good day uh, video today, folks. Like I say, the weather's terrible. Sorry about that, I don't want the the part to burn. It's hard to cook on these uh, camping stoves because uh, you know it's hard to control the heat. Maybe it's a little bit hotter than that, I don't know. We'll find out when we'll put the first slice in. Ah, 
Like I say, I wanted a bigger frying pan than just a, a big enough one to put one slice of bacon in, so. Can you hear the sizzle? Move them over a bit. I think I'll have uh, four slices in the first one. Right, that's spot on for now. Mmm, <laughs> let that sizzle away for a bit. I'll have one bacon sandwich and one bacon and egg, so I'll have this first. Shouldn't take too long. Like I say, I like mine crispy. It's got to be crispy, folks. Right, so I'll just let that sizzle away there. I'll bring it back when, when it's done. Season a bit. Right, well, that's crispy enough for me. Spot on. Do you know what I forgot, though? Some brune sauce. So I'm just going to have to have dry buns and brune, uh, no brune sauce. Right, I'm going to get these out here. See if asbestos fingers. Get them in there. That's why lads, uh, I'm eating that. I'm going to cook the other ones. So I'll catch you in a bit. I'll catch you in a bit. My mouth's watering, folks. I'm drooling. Right, well, I've had that bacon sawny. And here goes round two. Bacon and eggs. Cooking nicely there. Sizzle vision. Lovely. Like I say, the only thing that's missing is a bit brown sauce. Got it. Right, folks, you don't want to sit there and watch me eat this. So I'm going to eat this. Get the kettle back on. Because I've finished my cup of now. So I'm going to make another cup of crack on, getting this shed tidied. So, thanks folks, enjoy. Well, it's stopped raining for now, but I've been busy in the shed. So I'll show you what I've been doing. Just quickly spin you around there, slowly, so you don't get dizzy. I've been clearing out this shed. I've got the table out the way. I've put some carpet up on the wall there. And that's a job and a half by yourself, folks. But it's done now. I'll just see if I can step back without tripping over. I wasn't going to swear there. I just said I was going to say without falling over. So anyway, I've got the carpet up there on the side. Brightens it up a bit. I'm going to put a shelf here. And maybe he's make a sort of bench uh, thing, which I can store things in as well. A seat, which I can also store things in. So I'll start doing that. I'm going to strip, uh, well, I'm going to say I'm going to strip this wall. I'm not going to touch this wall just yet. I'm going to get this shelf here emptied so I can put it over onto this side. Things you do when it's raining, folks, eh? Right, I'll crack on.
Well folks, it's seven o'clock now. I've had enough. It's stopped raining for now, so I'll just show you around what's growing and what's not growing. The Hebe is doing fine. I've just cut back a few bits because it was coming right over the path. The wildlife area still looks like a wildlife area. I've been busy in the shed all day, like, not that you'll be able to tell when I get there, but I have been busy making plans, sitting there having cuppers and baking sandwiches and making plans. Anyway, these potatoes here look like they're dying off. I don't know if I'll get anything off these because I haven't even started flowering yet. And these ones that I put in later on, they're doing all right. But I am not sure about these first ones, which are the Pentland Dell or Pentland Javelin, I think. One of the two, I'll get them dug up, maybe it's on Wednesday if it's not raining. The leeks are doing all right there. Standing up straight, most of them now. And the beans that I put in last Wednesday are doing all right. They haven't died off, so... They're doing all right. If they're not dead, they're doing all right. These beetroot are still doing all right as well. So are the cabbages and the kale and the broccoli underneath the, the net. They're doing all right. I can't say any ready yet, but they will be soon. These swede under the net. Everything's doing all right, folks, but they look a little bit uh, scraggly to me, like. Plenty of top growth, but not much underneath. The broad beans are still lying there. I'll get a harvest off them. While I'm here, I'll show you the artichoke. Covered, as usual. One of them starting to open up there. Flower. So, something to look forward to, folks. Right. Might as well show you these onions. Now, uh, Wavy Davy, you says that you think I might have Allium leaf miner. Who knows? These ones are still solid in the ground, like. But like I say, these ones here are just, just pulled out, no problem. So there must be something going on. That one there seems to be all right. It's getting a bit thicker there, look. Oh no, it's all, it's all mushy. Oh no. What can you do, folks, apart from smile, be happy? These or uh, oranges, these apples here are doing all right. I will definitely need to get that net on. Let's take you into the seating area before I take you into the shed. There's a bee there, right on track. Oh, go on. There's a bee making the most of the no rain, which is few and far between these days. But these are doing all right, they always do. Nice few uh, dahlias there. And the never ending, the everlasting uh, sweet pea. Sweet pea. Doing all right. Right, I'll take you into the shed. Although I'll take you into the greenhouse first. Because I've took uh, a few of the things out of the shed into the greenhouse. Look at these roses while I'm passing. Lovely. Annie's rose. Still doing all right, but it's getting battered by the rain. Uh, what was I going to show you? Hi, I'll show you in the greenhouse before I show you in the shed. Like I say, you'll not be able to see much difference, but I have made a difference. If you can see there, I brought this shelving unit bit into here i'm going to store all my tools and everything to do with gardening in here and have the shed for a a shed to sit in 
not just a store cupboard I've put that sitar down there for now because uh, I don't know what to do with it folks I don't know what to do I just don't know what to do with my sitar do, 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 do. these uh, cucumbers started putting flowers on now which is good you see there flowers and they've started climbing up yeah all right look they're going up the string there just as they're supposed to which is good because you always know folks homegrown tastes better and i'll show you the grapes while i'm in here always do all right these well i'm saying always do all right what i'm gonna have to do is get on the outside and put some shading up before it gets too hot which this year it doesn't seem to be like it's gonna get too hot folks but you never know I don't want them to get scorched like they did the last time so I'll put some shading up on the outside one day if it gets too hot now I've got plans here folks for all of this wood like I say I'm gonna make over the shed so I've got a lot of good strong bits to make some benches and stuff that will be happening soon I might as well take it into the shed now as you, well, you'll not see much difference but there is I showed you that before the carpet I've put up on the side there and I've put my England flag up my England flag I've put my England flag up because England are playing football tonight and it's the World Cup final so, good luck England. If I had me England shell suit top, I would have done the John Barnes wrap. But I haven't got it, so I'm not going to do it. But I might still do it. Anyway, I've just been piling all my camping stuff up there. I've got too much camping stuff, folks. I might do a giveaway one day. So I've got this tent here. I, got, I bought this tent, but it's too small. See, if you're a if you're over six foot and you want to go camping it's really hard to get things that fit so i've got a, a, a sleeping bag there which is too small for us and a tent which is also too small for us so stay tuned folks i might be giving away a tent and a sleeping bag to somebody in the near future anyway like i was saying before i was going to put a shelf up here but i was using i was going to use these now these are old fashioned cast iron uh, brackets but unfortunately when I was taking one of them off the wall it snapped because it must be a quite brittle cast iron especially when the, uh, it's got to be a hundred years old that that's when they used to make things proper right, so I haven't put a shelf up there but I've took the shelf from up there and I've put it down here. It's up there now. Spot on. I've got my little storm light going on there. Things I forgot I had. So that looks a bit better there. I've got my cups up there. Look at, can you remember this? Old uh, UK, here we grow. Can you see that? Not many people have got them. But I have. Isn't that right, Tony? Anyway, whoa. Standing on things. I was going to have a fire today, but I just got too busy sidetracked doing other things in the shed. So the plan is, once I get all of this stuff out of the way, um, I want to make like a, a bench down here, all the way down, just for people to sit on and like, It'll have a hinge on so I can stick things underneath, like storage area, just for things that need to be stored. On this back wall, I don't know yet. We'll come to that bridge when we come to cross it, or whatever. But what I'd really like to do is, as well, is make a little, like, fireplace around this fire. Box off the chimney altogether, so it looks, it looks pretty cool. I don't know, we'll see what happens. Uh, I saw England. Come on, England, come on, England. It's 
It's a bit dark in the shed, so I'll take you back outside. In fact, I'll sign off in the shed, but there's the fire pit, folks. Everything that I wanted to get burnt has been burnt, and this has turned into lovely compost. So it's going to be a job and a half getting rid of all of this, but it'll go on the soil eventually, and there. Uh, I'll get this bit tidied up once and for all because as you can see there it's starting to come apart with all the weight but it, it was a nice little fire pit area when I first made it as you can see there very nice so I'll sign off in the shed season a bit well folks that's it another episode of Dave's Allotment Garden over and done with. Not much gardening, but there's not much sunshine. So what can I do? I've made a start on the shed, so the makeover has now begun. No turning back and all that kind of thing. So thanks for watching, commenting, liking and subscribing and all that kind of thing. I'll leave you on a couple of little songs here. One I've just thought of because I've just put that flag up and it is... The, England, uh, the World Cup final tonight, 8 o'clock, 45 minutes time. I'll not be watching it myself like because I'm not interested in football, to tell you the truth. I used to be, but not anymore. But come on, England. Um, I've probably jinxed you now, but I'm going to sing the John Barnes rap for you to give you some good luck. So I hope it helps. Uh, like... I usually have my England shell suit top on when I'm doing this, but I haven't, so I'll, I'll, I'll not wear that. But I will sing the John Bonds rap from the song World in Motion uh, from 1990. Get in. Right. If I can remember the words. You've got to hold and give, but do it at the right time. You can be slow or fast, but you must get to the line. And you always hit you and hurt you. Defend and attack. There's only one way to beat them. Get round the back. Now catch me if you can, because I'm the England man. And what you're looking at is a master plan. We ain't no hooligans. This ain't a football song. Three lions on my chest. No, you can't go wrong. Singing for England, England, who's singing this song. Right, that's enough of that. Good luck, England, and all that kind of thing. I'll leave you on another little song on my ukulele. It's the only song you should really play on a ukulele. It's by George Formby. Uh, when I'm cleaning windows, I don't know all of it, as usual, but I'll sing you a little bit. So, folks... Till the next time, once again, thanks for watching, commenting, liking and subscribing and all that kind of thing. And I'll see you on Wednesday. Take care. Here is When I'm Cleaning Windows. When I go window cleaning to win an honest pop For a nosy parker it's in the direct Oops, <laughs> i start again. Because I was in total wrong key, as usual. Right. When I go window cleaning to win an honest bob, for a nosy partner it's an interesting job. Now it's a job that just suits me, a window cleaner you could be if you could see what I can see when I'm cleaning windows. Honeymoon in couples too, you should see their binnacle, you'd be surprised at things they do. When I, when I'm cleaning windows, in my profession I work hard but I never stop. I climb this blinking ladder till I get right to the top. When I'm cleaning windows. Singers folks, take care. And all that kind of thing. See you.